hello everyone and welcome to your fourth JavaScript tutorial in this tutorial I'll be showing you something called developers tool and console in JavaScript now basically it's not a part of JavaScript but it is really helpful in debugging the JavaScript code every modern browser like Google Chrome and Firefox already come equipped with it there's a Firefox extension called Firebug which you can download to get a similar uh, developers tool like Google Chrome but I myself prefer Google Chrome's developers tool because I'm well aware with its features I'm shooting this tutorial in full screen mode because in this tutorial we'll be looking at Chrome's uh, developers tools to launch the developers tool click the right click on anywhere on the website and click on inspect element I'm using Google Chrome 41.0.2272 version uh, maybe this would update when you're watching this tutorial but the method remains relatively simple it just needs you to right click on anywhere on the page and click on inspect element and here you can see the shortcut for this as well control shift and I on Windows computer once you do this you have this whole lot of code I don't have much code and the style is generated by some of my extension right here a couple of I have developed myself and you get a whole lot of tools here I won't be making you understand all these tools because they are not necessary for the development purpose right now they are more of like testing and uh, kind of speed test and time loading speeds and how much time the document is taking to execute the scripts like that but the console the console thing is important now console is pretty much like everything written inside these two script tags console is your command line as well as it, sh it will show your output of JavaScript for example it could be simply a calculator if you do like 10 plus 15 10 star 15 and you can write uh, all the JavaScript you do inside these script two tags within here like for example var a is equal to hello is equal to world and we can do a plus b and it shows us hello world we don't need any document.write or window objects because console is a developer's tool and we don't need to do document.write here if we do document.write here it gets executed as a normal script as a script itself we have written in the file of the page uh, like hello world if we do this then you can see hello world appears on the top it executes on the document page now supposingly now you'll ask what's the use of console for example like you just want to take the value of the prompt now prompt is a function in JavaScript which shows a dialog box and takes a value from user what is your age supposingly we take this value in a variable C and I don't want to show it to your users but I just want it for development purposes for the future developers to see what is entered by the user here so I would log this inside the console to do a console log you simply type console.log and see now what would happen here is it will show an alert box here with the JavaScript asking the user to submit a value and it simply console logs the value entered by the user for example if we reload this page we get a dialog box what is your age for example if I enter my age 16 then as you can see it console logs the value entered by the user so console log is a useful tool in debugging or storing the value behind the hood which you don't want the front-end users or the normal users which do not use these tools to see console with using console log you can execute scripts on 
any side yourself on your machine for example if I do alert right here then it will show me an alert this is helpful and saves time as we do not need to go back to the file and make certain edits and we can just copy right copy all the JavaScript code we have written here if you have uh, ever used elements in the this developers tool to modify the CSS of the CSS of the document then you should have seen this that you can modify the CSS directly on the elements itself and then copy them in your file similarly in JavaScript console is used to directly execute the scripts on the document page without any need to go and edit the file again so that's all for the tutorial and uh, remember that you open console log by right clicking and inspect element and you lock your own commands to console by typing console.log example the last example we can use is 10 plus 15 and if we refresh this it doesn't matter because we are not doing anything with this body we get 25 logged as it is so thanks for watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe